Hey, this is Tim Ria here with Digital Health Live in studio with Dave Icke, who's the CEO of MC10. Hey. Hey, how you doing, Tim? Good, super excited. This is one of the, I love the job that I have here. Thanks, Jill. And we want to also thank our sponsors from Ideal Life, Jason and family. You guys are awesome. So you have a really cool, I call it kind of the first wave of invisible sensing technology in the digital health space. That's what we're trying to do. I mean, um, electronics have come a long way, but they're still rigid and boxy. And if you want to interface with the human body, it's really tough. Um, if you want something that's really, truly comfortable, yeah. but providing great quality data that you can use for sports and fitness to optimize performance or reduce the risk of injury, um, or if you want to apply those same ideas to healthcare, to getting proactive information, you have to have something that people actually wear. And we've really been focused on making electronics not just high performance, but comfortable and really deploying new yeah. shapes of sensors um, and really trying to make them passive and invisible so that everybody can use them. I think I saw a photo of like Steve Jurvetson with one of these arms. <laughs> it's possible, yeah. yeah. We've, uh, we have a uh, product called the BioStamp that yeah. is almost like an artificial tattoo. You know, you've got, this, is this is a version of it. We've got different flavors that measure different things, but um, we can measure bio potential on the body. So put on your chest and you've got information about your heart, EKG, yeah. EEG on the forehead, muscle yep. activation. Um, you can measure motion, temperature, lots of different things that you can um, measure with solid state sensors. It's amazing. So, I mean, this is totally futuristic technology. Tron is here today. Well, and there are practical products yeah. that exist already. So yeah. our yeah. first commercial product is, um, is a, a skull cap or beanie that can be worn in contact sports. It's got electronics inside. This is a product called the Check Light that we did with Reebok. Yeah. It won the uh, CES Innovation Award for Health and Fitness this year. Um, it's being featured over in the South Hall. But what it is is um, an extra set of eyes on the field for kids playing youth fo football yeah, that um, can you know, get into a treatment path if they've had a significant hit. So what happened inside on the panel? Who was there and what were some of the hot points? So um, we had a panel moderated by Alan Schwartz from the New York Times and then um, representatives from uh, L'Oreal and Cosmetics, from Medtronic Medical Device, and from the pharma world, um, Dan Salazar from Otsuka. And um, everyone's looking at how um, passive sensing, invisible sensing, can um, allow more proactive healthcare um, access to healthcare really if and when you need it, being able to do predictive analytics based on how we're living our daily lives, right? I mean, today, if you think about how we access healthcare, we go we go to the doctor, you know, once a year if we're lucky or if something bad happens, right? Yes. And there's no there's no ability to really track what's happening. You know, the exception is diabetes where, you know, people monitor their, their blood glucose yeah, levels. Yeah. But, but uh, in general, there's no real information about what's happening as we um, you know, as we go to work, as we're at school, you know, when we're sleeping at night. And if instead you can have predictive, or if you can have a 24 by 7 picture, snapshot of what's happening, get some good analytics onto it, um, you've, got, you've got a way to um, get access to care just if and when you need it. So you're using like nanotechnology or how, what, what are the basis of, of this development? So two technologies brought together. So conventional micro and nano electronics okay. that are used for computer chips to build a $300 billion industry today. Yep. And then we're merging that with soft stretchy materials. You know, it could be so, yeah. nylon or lycra like yep. you use in sports. Um, it could be a polyurethane on a catheter that goes inside the body. So yeah. whatever types of stretchable decals, plastics, polymers, fabrics, we can integrate conventional electronics with in a thin, stretchy form factor. So when do you see a day we'll all be able to buy this stuff at Nordstrom? <laughs> well, um, I don't know if Nordstrom's our target, but we're working in sports and fitness pretty yeah, aggressively. Yeah, or, today. Or, or, or yeah, like a and, sports um, store. And, um, and so the, you know, this, this product's available in Dix and, wow, and on so the web helpful. already. And, yeah. um, and then you know, we have a range of products that are coming out later this year and over the, over the next couple of years. Um, regulated products take a little longer to get to market. Yep. Um, you know, FDA regulation is um, something that it takes an extra you know, one to three years. So those products will start coming out soon as well. It, what's, what's your feeling for the future? We just hit the new year, it's 2014. What's kind of the three year roadmap? Well, I think um, what we see is that computing has really moved from smartphone and tablets into wearables. The Gen 1 wearables that are out there um, give you some useful information, but they're still 
um, in a form factor that really applies to early adopters. And I think what we'll see as electronics are getting thinner, more conformal, integrated into apparel or stuck on directly on the skin in a sensing sticker, uh, much broader adoption of the technology. Interesting. I know there's a, a helmet company that makes a helmet sensor and then you guys kind of work with, with what, I guess, what kind of partners do you guys work with? Well, so um, this product was done with Reebok, and um, this it's designed to go underneath anybody's helmet, so existing football or lacrosse or hockey helmets. We also have an unhelmeted version that'll be used for soccer and oh. other, other unhelmeted sports, because interesting. interestingly... Taekwondo or... Well, I, I, as many c concussions happen in, in girls' basketball and soccer as happen in tackle football oh, in, really? in the U.S. Yeah, so there's a, there's a number of places where head injuries become a big issue. Okay. So as an entrepreneur, what's your ask? Like how, do you, how can you get support? Who out, who out here can help you with your mission? Well, um, what we're trying to do is make people aware that, uh, that electronics don't have to be rigid and boxy and that brand new form yeah. factors are possible for people developing products. Um, you know, we're, we see ourselves as the leader in body integrated computing, yeah. really by dissolving the boundaries between technology and people. And you know, I think the consumer electronics companies are trying to figure out how to get into healthcare. Medical device companies don't necessarily understand consumers. We help bridge that gap. So we yeah. work with yeah. leading brands across consumer and healthcare healthcare to try to bring innovative, iconic products to market and then inspire that next generation of product developers that can take this kind of technology and do amazing products that we haven't even thought of yet. Yeah, it's just amazing. I just feel like we're at this cusp of, a, of an explosion of new products and uh, just it'd be built into everything. Yeah, I think it's, um, you, you know, if you see about how electronics have become part of our lives, you know, our homes, our cars, they've really proliferated to a lot of areas. But one area that hasn't seen as much is healthcare, yeah. Re really because the form factor is not well yeah. matched the body. You know, if yeah. you've tried to, you know, run with your smartphone, you know, banded to your <laughs> arm, it's just not a pleasant experience. You know, a heart rate strap, you know, is constraining for a lot of people. So yeah. if you can have the power of, of electronics to give you some personalized insight so you can change your behavior, yeah. but not have to deal with, um, you know, big and clunky, that really changes adoption. So David, let's wrap up with your website and Twitter handle, how people can connect up with you. Yeah, so you can, easiest way to reach us is um, www.mc10inc.com and uh, you can find all the information there. Congratulations on your award, winning the CS Big Award, and uh, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, appreciate it.